uh, we want to create a percent of total sales by region, which means that we want to consider the sales, the total sales for that region, and then divide it by all the sales across all the regions. So for that, we're going to use the divide function. And as a numerator for that divide function, we need to pass the sales for that region. That can be simply passed by referencing to the aggregated value of sales, which is going to be the summation of the sales amount. So I just need to pick my column from the right table right here. Now, as far as the denominator is concerned, I want to calculate all the sales across all the regions, which means I want to create the complete sales for all the sales records in my data set. So to do that, I need to use another function, which is going to be our calculate function. Now this calculate function is going to evaluate an expression based on the filter that we specify. So first we are need, we need to specify the expression and our expression is going to be uh, sum of sales amount. And now we need to specify a filter. The filter that we're going to specify is going to be the all filter, which is going to return all the records in a table, ignoring any filters that are applied on the visualization. So all, right? And if you just click on all, then you'll get a bracket after that, which means that it expects a, some parameter argument to be passed to it. The argument that we need to pass right here is a table name, which is going to be a sales table. So we are asking it to consider all the records from the sales table right here and then just close your brackets and as you uh, as you're putting your brackets at the end it will highlight the starting brackets so you know that you have completed your brackets so now i have completed my brackets i can just commit this calculation to the visualization and now you can see that this has created a percent of total calculation right over here and there's no exclamation mark or anything over here that means that the calculation that we have created is valid so the next thing that we're going to do is select a visualization and add this calculation right over here so now you can see that there is this calculation that has been added and let's format this as a percentage so if you format it as a percentage you'll see that this is the percent of sales for armenia and the Total summation of all these percentage of sales right here is 100%. Now, if you know Power BI, if you have been working with Power BI, then you would know that there's some uh, calculations which are pre uh, uh, computed and provided by Power BI. So, for example, if I go to sales amount and click on the arrow right over here, you will see that there's an option called show value as and percent of grand total so why don't i just go and use this so let me use this and see what i'm getting right over here okay so this is the um this is the column that power bi added on its own when i said that i want to see this as a percentage of the grand total so this percent of grand total we can see that this has the same values right over here right so these are exactly the same values and the same results that we are getting using the functions that are already provided by Power BI. And we do not really need to go and write text expression to calculate the same thing. Then why not just do that? So the answer to that question we'll see shortly. Uh, let's go and apply some filters to this particular visualization. So if I go to the filters tab simply and try to apply some filters. So let's say um, the region filter. Uh, let's select all the regions and then let's uh, take away, let's say Germany that has a major share. Let's take away Germany and France. Okay, so now I have applied a filter that shows that I am uh, I want to visualize all the countries on my dashboard or report uh, except for Germany and France. All right. So now uh, let's compare the values once again between the ones that we calculated and the ones that were computed by Power BI. So these are the values that we created. And now you can see that the total summation right here is not 100%, it is 86.85%. And why is that? This is because our requirement was to calculate the percent of sales for 
every particular country or every individual country based on the total sales that happened for across all the regions okay so it should not be the total sales that we calculated should not be affected by any filters on this particular visualization and that is what we specify by, by while writing a calculate expression whereas in this one that the power bi calculated on its own we can see that it is still 100 percent because it has taken all the filters that we are we have applied on a visualization in two contexts and now it has calculated the percentage of sales for Armenia based on the total sales that we have on this visualization. And those total sales are all the sales for all the countries except France and Germany. So as per a requirement, what we have done using the text expression is what we needed. So we have to be careful while using these quick calculations that Power BI provides or all these kind of pre-built uh, aggregation functions that are provided by Power BI. So again, based on your requirement and what we need to achieve, we need to decide whether we want to write our own text expression for uh, calculating that value or we have the flexibility to use any of the predefined aggregation uh, that is provided by power bi all right so writing a dex always has more control uh, over the code so you can apply your filters in whatever way you want if you want to ignore the filters or you want to consider all the regions you want to ignore just one region all those things can be done uh, using your deck expression and they'll be uh, pretty uh, stable across or any slicing and dicing that you perform on your visualization. All right. 